Sergeant Rock believes that it's only through divine intervention that he is alive to tell his story. This sergeant evolves from a naive, baseball-playing, church-going Christian and skinny little college kid to a well-trained killing machine in Vietnam. Leaving California to take part in the Tet Offensive in 1968, he finds the cultural shock overwhelming. Thrust into war and killing, his approach to life and death changes quickly, but he holds fast to his beliefs. Though he saves others and earns the Silver Star and two Purple Hearts, his attitude toward killing and death changes for the worse, while his approach toward life improves. Sergeant Rock is a much better person for the choices he makes. In the course of a single Tet offensive battle, Sergeant Rock's company loses all but 13 men, as 126 soldiers die in just two hours. His faith increases when he meets his guardian angel during the battle. Sergeant Rock pushes his squad to their limits because he knows that death may lie just beyond the next bush. He may be only 20, but he thinks like an old veteran. With the body count still on his mind, he wonders if he can ever be around normal people again. He watches friend after friend die as heroes and sees the head cut off an enemy soldier. The hardships his squad faces and just trying to stay alive are overwhelming. How much can one mind take before it cracks? Call Me Sergeant Rock is available at Amazon.com and other online retailers, as well as directly from the publisher. <laughs>